There's a really cool experiment you can do where you can make fire appear black using special lighting. But what I want to know is, using the same principle, can we make black lightning using a Tesla coil? This isn't a camera trick or computer-generated special effects. This is real science. We don't do fake on this channel. Also, I should point out that what I show here involves high-voltage electricity, toxic chemicals, and fire all at the same time. This is really dangerous, so you should definitely not try this yourself. So what we need for the black fire demonstration is an alcohol flame mixed with a solution of sodium salts and something called a low-pressure sodium lamp. And there it is. The edges of the flame look black under the low-pressure sodium light. And that's not smoke, or at least not what we'd normally call smoke. It only looks black under this kind of light. <laughs> that's really cool. So what's really happening here? Well, sodium has a very unique emission spectrum, with two dominant emission lines, known as the sodium D lines, very close to each other at approximately 589 and 589.6 nanometers in wavelength. Thing is, the sodium ions in the flame from the salt also absorb light at these same wavelengths. And, since the only appreciable source of ambient light, coming from the low-pressure sodium lamp, is at these particular wavelengths, when those wavelengths are absorbed, all you see is the absence of any light, which appears black. If you do this with normal broad-spectrum lighting, you don't see this because most of the other wavelengths of light are not absorbed at any appreciable level. So it works for sodium ions in the flame, but uh, it's gonna work for the Tesla coil? Somehow we need to get sodium atoms into the Tesla coil spark. There are two reliable ways I've found to do this. One is to put the same alcohol fire mixed with salt water solution under the breakout point. And another is shown by one of my favorite YouTubers, Styropyro, which is to pack the tip of a breakout point made from graphite with sodium bicarbonate, or baking soda, which is another sodium salt. You can really see the sodium emission spectrum in the Tesla coil spark with both of these setups, which is really cool on its own. So if we try this under the sodium light, do we get the same effect as with the flame? Hmm. Don't see it with the alcohol flame, though I still see the yellow-orange color from the sodium in the spark. Let's try the sodium bicarbonate. Nope, don't see it with that either. Interesting. So I guess it didn't work. You can see the sodium emission lines in the Tesla coil arc, but we don't see any of the absorption. I wonder why that is. There are a few things that are different from this than with the fire. One is the temperature and the spatial distribution of the temperature. The root of the Tesla coil spark is much hotter than the methanol fire, but it's also much more localized. You can see how the tips of the sparks don't emit any yellow indicating the sodium emission lines. They're just the deep purple that we're used to seeing from nitrogen and oxygen and other gases in the air. The fire, on the other hand, probably has a much more uniform distribution of moderately high temperature across a larger volume. Probably also does a much better job of convecting up the sodium atoms into the air around it than the Tesla coil spark does. There must just not be enough sodium getting convected up from the Tesla coil spark into the air around it that then cools down outside of the hot core of the Tesla coil spark. At least not enough that we're seeing any visible amount of absorption. It may also simply be that the Tesla coil spark emits so many other wavelengths of light that we're not seeing this effect because the sodium lamp is no longer the dominant source of light here. That may actually be the biggest reason as to why this doesn't work. Something else that could be affecting it is that the Tesla coil spark is occurring in the presence of a very strong electric field due to the high voltage of the Tesla coil. I don't know enough about plasma physics to understand all of the effects this may have on what's going on here though. So, that didn't really work, but it was still really cool to look at. Like, just the sodium lamp on its own is really cool. It's nearly monochromatic, so it makes everything look just black and white. Or black and yellow, I guess. <laughs> anyway, if you have any ideas on why this works with the alcohol-infused flame, but not so much with the Tesla coil spark, leave a comment. And before we end, I'll leave you guys with some cool shots of sodium coloring the Tesla coil spark. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you next time.